Hello, I recently had the opportunity of installing solar on my roof. Here is the brief-ish video of how I did it. This is a self adhesive lead free flashing. Seems to be doing a pretty good job and it's got good reviews on it. Um, durability. I'll just start to place the task back in. I'll get a full tile in there. That sits over there like that. And then I'll cut a tile to fit in that space there right now. braces measure and then it just ties back in to a greater or lesser extent I'll just notch that out.
and there we go. Just repeat for the other three, or the other two, to make three in total. Once all the hooks are in place, the rail needs to go on. There's a little, I don't know what you call that, a little fastener that has, you can see that hopefully. Put that into position, hold the rail on, tighten it up. My roof moves, it, it's not very, it's not very consistent, it sort of moves up and down that way as well as that way. It's a pretty old roof so I've set the first and last rails um, where I think they should be and then I've put a string line across the top as you can just see there. So I've set that up as best as I think I can. Uh, it's impossible to get a more level without taking the hooks off and putting packers under each one. There's quite a bit of adjustment on the hooks, but my roof's uh, that far out that the you can't make it up with the adjusters. Uh, so I've done uh, what I think will work, and uh, we'll just see. Next is to mount the <coughs> micro inverters. Again, these simple fixings slip in. I'll just whiz them up with this and then talk them with a the The connection through to the house I've pushed my cable through here so I'll do the connections in the loft I'll have a junction box in there the next section from the roof down into the consumer unit needs to be carried out by qualified sparks so that's the connection from the panels uh, down via an isolator uh, into the consumer unit and then from there, there's a connection to a controller. Uh, I use the Enphase system, uh, seems pretty nice, and it connects uh, with Wi-Fi, um, and I can view all the data, what the solar panels are doing uh, from my phone. Make sure you get somebody who knows what they're doing to do that bit, that's important. These little brackets connect the panels to the rail and they slide up and down so um, I started by putting the top panels on first and, and leveling those three up and then um, and then there are these interconnecting middle bracket um, holder things and then put all six on so that's it finished I finished it last night and just as the sun was going down so we didn't see any generation at that point but this morning at 7.30 was producing more power than we were using in the house at that point we were only using about 300 watts but we we're already starting to export some to the grid so that's a plus so our aim is not to sell energy back to the grid but to use any excess energy to heat water up because of the wood burner that we use uh, that system uses about 200 to 300 watts pretty much constantly right through the day so uh, we want basically to offset that cost and our daily running costs really more than anything else so we've just started with this six panel system which is 1800 watts thanks for watching